Hello everyone. Let's take another problem for model analysis. Let me first go for file, say new, so that all existing data will get deleted. Again, go to user profile and check whether the user profile has been set it to Optistruct or any other solver. And let's say OK. Let me first import the model. So I will go for import. Here I will go for solver deck and file type I will set it to Optistruct. Let's say open. From your work location, you will import the assembly validation 01 file and just say import. As you can see, the file has been imported, but it is not showing in the proper element style. So I will go for shaded element. Let me come to the isometric view and here I will set it to close. In my graphics window, I have the simple frame assembly. Within that, uh, engineers have created all the machines required as well as connection has been produced. Let's say I am working in the company as a senior engineer. So from now on, it's my job to check whether the engineers have made the assembly correctly. That means whether they have followed the quality criteria properly, whether they have put the washer elements or they have produced the proper connections or not. Now to check whether they have created proper connections, proper property or they have assigned the proper material, we will take checks one by one. So first, in the visualization option, I will go for by material and I will check whether they have assigned the material properly or not. As you can see, all the colors has been turned into the single color. So I will go for material. I will select all the material and I will try to change the color of them. As you can see, all of them have turned into this brown color. That means all of the component have been assigned to the steel. Now one thing that I am going to do, click on material, right click over here and say hide. If all of the elements are getting hidden, that means all the material have been assigned. Again, let's go for unmask all. Let me go for isometric view. And second, we will go for whether the properties has been created or not. Again, go for by property. And you can see all of them have different different color. You can visually check by zooming in at the particular locations and observing those locations properly. Now next, again, we will go for by property, right click on it and say hide. If I say hide, none of the elements supposed to show except the RB2, RB3, those type of elements. Again, let me go for unmask all and say return. Now let us start with the model analysis. But it is very, very important. In the interview also, a panel will ask you this question. What are the things that you do before the model analysis? One of the most important thing that we supposed to do before starting the model analysis is to check the mass because in case of model analysis it is very very important that we are representing the stiffness of geometry properly that's why here there is a necessity to check the mass of component if client or your design team has given you the mass of actual prototype or actual component then you can match that mass with the fe model mass and then you can confirm the component has been built properly or if in your team there are more senior engineers who will just by observing the component will say that mass of this component is 10 kilogram, 15 kilogram, 50 kilogram. Like that they will just say it. So you have to observe or you have to check whether the mass is coming out to be nearly equal to that or not. To check the mass, we can go for tools. Here I will go for mass calculation. Here instead of component, I will set it to elements. I will set it to all the displayed element and I will just say calculate. As you can see, the total mass is coming out to be 1.135 e raised to minus 2 tons. That means in kilogram, multiply this value by 1000. So I will get 11.35 kilogram. So for frame assembly, that is approximate mass. Mass of the frame assembly generally varies between 10 to 15 kilogram. So modeling as far as my experience is concerned is good. Now let's say return. To start with the model analysis, first we will create a card calling it as a EIGRL card so that Optistruct will understand person want to do the model analysis. So I will go for load collector. Here I will go for EIGRL. Now EIGRL is the card required for the model analysis. You have to remember this. Instead of no card image, click over here, say card image, click over here and say EIGRL. Again, go for create and edit. Now here ND is nothing but number of nodes. I will set it to 20 and here I will press enter and then say return. Now the card image has been created and we want to perform the free free type of analysis. That means we are not going to apply any boundary condition. So again, let me go for analysis. Here I will create a load step. And here I will simply say modal analysis.
in the type bracket instead of linear static we want to perform the normal modes so click over here then in the load step itself we have to call that card that we have created for the model analysis now to call that card we have to click on methods click over here and say eigrl now remember spc is the card required for the constraint applying the boundary condition while method structural is the card required to notify the type of analysis again click on the create and then say edit and then i will say return say return and just we have to save the file and again go for the model analysis so let me go for file let's say save as so i have saved my file under the name frame assembly validation 01 let me save it now we will go for analysis click on optistruct here instead of export option i will set it to all and then just click on optistruct so that the model analysis solution will begin after some time you can observe the analysis has been completed but we want to see the results we want to show the contours so we can go for hyperview wait for hyperview to open once the hyperview opens first thing that i am going to check the first six modes has to be equal to 0 and those six modes are called as rigid body modes so if i expand this i will check whether up till mode 6 i should have a value closer to 0 as you can see i am getting the value closer to 0 that means as far as connections are concerned all the connections are done but again we have to check their animation also so let me click on mode 7 let me go for contour let me say displayed and then say apply now let me go for deform here i will put the value greater than 1 here i am trying to instruct the hyperview that he should scale the displacement value so let me set it to 10 then i will say apply and then i will go for play and i will reduce the animation speed to properly observe as you can observe over here this is basically my rear truss outer so this rear truss outer just penetrating inside the rear truss inner so it might happen so at this point the connection has not been placed properly as you can see those two components have been connected through this location but it seems like a person has forgot to give the connection at this location so let us go to the hypermesh again now as you can see at this location we have to check the connection so let me rotate it oh as you can see at this location a spot will have been missing though this two component that means outer and inner these two components are connected through this bolt connection so if i switch on this you will get the bolted connection but at this location there should have been the spot weld so let us create the spot weld i will go for 1d let me go for connector say spot say node this node this node this node component this one this one at this location you can either confirm with your client or you can take the judgment yourself for example here i can connect this three component also that means rear truss outer inner and this rail also but here i am going to assume that the person does not want to connect this rear truss outer with inner through the spot connection so here i will connect only these two components then go for tolerance set it to 10 here type i will set it to acm equivalence diameter of weld since we are connecting two component i will set it to 5 and say create as you can see the three spots connector have been realized now the same thing i will do over here let me select this node let us select this one and this one again let me go for component this one this one and just say create now again we have to perform the model analysis so first i will save my file then again i will go for analysis let us go for optistruct and here again say optistruct yes i do want to overwrite my files the analysis has been completed so let me say close and let us again open the hyperview let us go for contours here i will go for component displayed and say apply again we are interested in seventh frequency so let me click on seventh let me go from deform here i will increase the deform factor to 10 say apply and just play the animation reduce the speed of animation and as you can see still at this location i have a problem now if you imagine carefully with your experience or if you ask your senior what should i do over here 
but again it depends on the design engineer or our senior team that whether this particular mode is expected or not. For example, here we have taken the assumptions that this rear truss outer and inner they should not have been connected using the weld command. Now if they are not connected using the weld, that means this mode is definitely going to occur. But if the senior CA engineer say, okay this mode is not expected, then you have to tell him, if this is not expected then I have to create a weld over here, otherwise there is no way that this mode is going to vanish. So you have to ask him, should I connect these three components using the weld or I will keep it as it is and later the person is going to create the contact at this location. But generally whenever the components are connected using bolted connection, they are never spot weld. So I will keep this as it is since our assumption is correct. Let us move on to some other mode and check whether some other connections are missing. Let me go for mode 8. See again mode 8 for the same component because see at those location there is no connection that means that component is basically weak one. Let us go for mode 8. Same. Oh this is different one. Let us go for next mode. See at this location also in the front. Let me reduce the animation speed. You can see this bottom plate is just moving away from the component. So it might happen so at this location again the connection are missing. So let us go to the hyper mesh again. Let me zoom into this location and as you can see the person has not created a weld over here. So if I observe this is my 11th mode. So I have to work on this 11th mode. Again let me say return in the hyper mesh, go for 1D, let's go for connector, let's go for spot and here I will create a 3 spot weld. Go for components, this one, this one, say create and let's say return. Again you have to save the file first, then go for analysis and go for optistruct. Say yes. After the completion of analysis, let us click on hyperview. If I click on hyperview every time, it will create another hyperview window. Let us go for contour, say component, say display, say apply. Again, let me go for deform, here I will set it to 10, say apply. Again from 7th mode only I have to check, so I will go for 7th mode. Let's play the animation. Ok, so 7th mode animation have not changed at all. 8th mode animation is changed little bit. Again let me go for mode 8, the same one, 10 is also same one and here you can see the 11th mode which was previously here it have now been changed. Let me go for 12th mode. If the modes are coming at this location then they are well and good because we cannot do anything over here. This one is also looks good. Here I can just reduce the speed the entire components are moving that means it is also good one. So in this way basically you are going to check now everything looks good in my modal analysis. So in this way basically you are going to perform the modal analysis and again you will give the feedback to your machine engineer whether he have done connections properly or not. Now the important thing that I want to tell you in case of modal analysis it is very important to maintain the stiffness. So before going for model analysis we are going to check the mass of components and we will check whether they are representing our physical prototype or actual component properly or not.